Hello everybody, I'm the French Monk and welcome back to another video on the Napoleonic Wars based game called Hold Fast, Nations at War. Now before I go into this video, let me first thank all of you guys and girls out there for the amazing support on this channel. The past few weeks have been absolutely great. I've got to meet a lot of new people. I actually got visited in our TeamSpeak server by a couple of people just visiting me, my channel, telling me they like the videos and such and that I should keep up the good work. And you guys have no idea how much that means to me. And not only on TeamSpeak of course, but on YouTube as well. I've been seeing a lot of friendly comments, surprisingly no spam anymore since I made that video. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much. We're so close to hitting 600 subscribers and from then on it's only another 400 to go for a face reveal. I'm getting scared already. <laughs> Alrighty, again thank you so much and let's head into the video. So I received a comment from Count Hustle and he asked me to make a video about all the different classes you can choose from in Holdfast. Now I have made a lot of updates video already on this game prior to release. And in some of those, I went over some of the classes already. I know I made a video about the coastal units, like the coastal guards and customs. And I made a video about the riflemen and the guard units, and a lot more. But today's video will include a short but detailed summary of each class. I'll be going over their abilities and traits and so on. Now, I think it's only logically for me to start with the land units for this video. And I'll make another video, another separate video for the naval units. Um, so yeah, let's let's start with the officer class, considering I play as an officer about 80% of the time. What does the officer do? He or she gives commands to the regiment. So in organized events, the person that picks the officer class is the leader. You get to call the shots, as you've seen me doing in my videos. Now what is so special about the officer class? Well, first and foremost, considering this is a class that commands respect, the officer has a resilient trait, meaning the health bar is increased slightly to give the officer a better chance of survival when in battle. Naturally, if you take a shot to the head or a cannonball hits you, you die straight away. The officer has an officer's sword. Now the class has a sword specialization trait, meaning you'll do slightly more damage when wielding a sword. The officer also has a pistol. Although you can reload the pistol really fast, it is limited by its short range. Don't expect to get a lot of kills with it, like you're able to do in Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars. Up close however, it is the best firearm of the game, in my opinion at least. The officer also carries a spyglass to spot the enemy from a greater distance and they also have a lantern to light the place up in case it gets really dark. So that's that for the officer class. Moving on to the most iconic units you can play as on land based scenarios. The line and light infantrymen. Now both classes have a musket equipped with a bayonet. You can shoot the enemy at medium to close range and switch over to the bayonet when things get up close and personal. The difference between both classes is the fact that light infantry have an additional weapon, apart from their musket, namely a sword. And they have two important traits, while the normal line infantryman has none. Lights can reload their musket a little bit faster, as they are considered a skirmishing unit. Their melee damage however is slightly decreased. Lights are considered light footed, and therefore are also a little bit faster than regular infantry when it comes to running. We have now come to the Musicians class, of which there are three units to pick from. You have the Fifer, the Drummer and the Violinist. All these units have similar weaponry, namely a pistol and a sword, or a cutlass. The latter associated with the Violinist, as you can pick that unit when playing naval game modes. Their traits are identical to one another. All of them inspire nearby allies when playing music thus increasing the reloading speed of those friendlies. The health bar is also slightly increased, to give them a better chance of survival when in battle. And when playing music, you get points when nearby allies kill enemies. 
Moving on to the guard unit. Guards in this game are duty bound to guard the officer. That ability increases the health of nearby allied officers. Because they are considered as elite infantry and battle hardened, their own health is also slightly increased, along with their melee damage. Each guard has a musket, equipped with a bayonet and a sword. The rifleman class doesn't need any introduction. We know they are crack shots, and in Holdfast, your accuracy is increased. But the rate of which you reload your firearm is slightly decreased when playing this unit. Now they are considered a skirmishing unit, and therefore their running speed is also slightly increased. Riflemen have two firearms they can choose from when spawning in a battle. A rifle or a musket without a bayonet. In addition to their firearm, they have a sword. So when it comes to shooting at larger distances, these guys are the real deal. Alrighty, there you have it. I've covered pretty much most of the land units that are of importance in organized events. And I've summed up their traits and abilities for all the players out there that are new to the game. And wanted a little bit of a better explanation when it comes to what these guys do basically. And which one they should pick in case they are joining a public event. Or a regiment for that matter. So there you have it. Those were the land units. I will be making a similar video as well covering the naval units. But until then I will see you all very soon in the next video. Take care everyone.